So to do the podcast on Zoom, what you have to do is just there's a little button that you press to record at the very bottom, and then that records the screen and it records the audio as well. So it's super handy. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Well, anyway, to to... what was that? I'll have to get one to plug into the laptop because I only have kind of a standalone one at the minute. So. A standalone one. I have two actually. I this one I'm using at the minute. This is like an Amazon one. So that's like it's a yeah. USB. It's super handy and it's just like really portable. Would you ever hear of a Blue Yeti? Yeah, yeah, they're very common, aren't they? They're super common, but they're absolutely shy as far as I can tell. Excuse, excuse my language. Uh, I have one here, and I was using it the other day. I was using it with the, with the girls. That one there, it's massive, it's a massive oak. But I was using it with the girls, uh, you know, with, with Phoebe and Dervla. But mm -hmm. the audio was terrible from, from mine, like, as in the right. laptop nearly has better quality. Jeez, that's just USB connect as well, is it? Uh, yeah, it is, yeah. Well, like, the base of it is, it, it, it doesn't have to use Compete Connect. You connect it to a mixer as well. Like, does yours connect to a mixer, yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah, like an interface, kind of. And then I connect the interface to the computer. All right. And um, where do you edit the podcast, then? So I just, like, I don't know, do you have a MacBook? I have a HP, so I'm not, yeah, I'm not as wealthy as you, think. So no, I'm yeah. doing my uh, Android <laughs> technology. But, yeah. No, no, I'm just, I'm just blessed and lucky to have one, but... You're blessed. You bought one. <laughs> That's not what that is. And, um, oh, here, Denise, give me a second, I'm actually. I'm not sure if you have that one as well. Or I'm not sure what software you can use on, like... Jesus. Can you hear me? Yeah, there was someone trying to ring me there. That's, that's the only thing about fucking Zoom. Sometimes it just, it just freezes, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, what, what were you saying, Nina? About the, 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 the MacBook. You, you are, your, your MacBook, you connect to the mixer, Nina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then it just literally feeds straight into GarageBand, like the track of myself recording. Yeah. Um, and I can just edit it from there pretty much straight away. So um, have you had a trick around with any editing software? Yeah, yet, I use or? Audacity. Okay. Which it's grand, like, but I, I don't know. I decided, like, I did, like, 10 podcasts, say, and okay. I was recording them and using Audacity to edit them. But then I decided, you know what? It takes ages to edit a podcast. Mm -hmm. Like, say, an hour yeah. podcast, it could take, like, two hours to edit it. Yeah, easily, and really, easily. Yeah, easily, like. And really, the only thing that I'm trying to edit out of it is people talking shit about other people. Because you know when people start <laughs> talking, like, and they're like, oh, like, that's grand to say here, but I can't have that going out to the world. So I'm like, grand, you edit it out. But it takes ages. So I was like, yeah. you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to say, I'm not going to edit podcasts in that way anymore. Whatever is said, I'll, I'm just going to leave it there and let people be responsible for what they say themselves, like, you know? Yeah, true. Like, is there a specific kind of brief you're going into with every podcast or is it just a random chat or... What's the niche you're trying to target? Hey, uh, that's the thing. So they say you're meant to have like a niche in order to have a successful one. Like the same you have life science podcast, which is like super, super niche. But I just like, if I get interesting people on to talk to and talk, to, talk about what they're, you know, good at or interested in, then that'd be a good conversation as well. Even though like, that's, that, like, that describes so many podcasts. But I was like, yeah, I, I might do that. Might be, it'd be more enjoyable, you know? absolutely yeah. yeah um and like if it's just a genuine conversation it won't take much editing exactly yeah that's the thing but as well as that i wanted to say um how long does your whole thing take to produce um it kind of varies depending on the episode and what kind of uh, material i'm trying to cover um because obviously it is about science but i want it to be accessible so to be honest the the real work happens before I sit down in front of the microphone at all. Yeah. Um, it takes so long to script, you know, um, yeah. and because it's just me as well, I'm obviously not interviewing anyone. It's just me droning. Yeah, for up yeah, to exactly. Minutes. Yeah, which is um, typically like it's probably not as interesting as as having you know two people going back and forth. So. But, exactly. Yeah. yeah, but then again, I'm literally only dealing with one voice, so it's easy to edit. I just you know chop out my mistakes yeah it's just fine 
um, and you're really good at keep, keeping your voice to one level as well like I go up and down a lot whereas you're just perfectly smooth for the ears you know well I mean some people could class that as boring or sleepy time but I don't know it's, uh, it feels more for, snappy so. yeah I think that's the best way to do it personally I, know. I, I prefer if I could do that but um, it was Keenan was telling me that you spend like two hours or like two to four hours like just writing the script Oh yeah, for sure. More, to be honest. Would you? Um, yeah, like even the latest episode, to be honest, was about depression and the, sci- the science behind depression. But I had so many like thoughts in my head about it because I didn't want it to be a depressing listen, if you get me. I yeah. just wanted to make the science, I wanted to make it obvious that depression was a biological disease. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been meaning to listen to that one, actually, yeah. I say a lot of people yeah. listen to that. Yeah, look, I got a, got a bit of feedback on that one, all right. And then the one prior to that was about basic research. So that kind of struck a chord with anyone in science. You know, they really yeah. enjoyed that. But again, I'm after a very niche subset of people, you know. Yeah. Um, so I have to be happy with, I suppose, a smaller um, smaller amount of listens per episode. Um, yeah. But hopefully it'll grow a bit, you know. I'd say it definitely will because... In terms of quality, like I'd say your podcast is up there, but anything that I've listened to, it's only, you know, a couple of episodes in. Because a lot of people are, there's lo- so many podcasts there at the minute. Like I say, like one in every 50 young people has a podcast, but a lot of them are just exactly. terrible. So, yeah, because all it takes is a phone and an app, a free app. Yeah, and yeah. Can- yeah. Um, but, and again, I, I've said this as well to a couple of people. Uh, because of COVID and because of lockdown, people are bored and they're just, everyone and their mother is doing a podcast now, you know? Yeah, yeah. But I think, so the, thing, I think the thing as well is to stick with it because there's a couple of lads near me, well, just two twins actually, and they have a podcast called The Lahe Lahe Show, which is like a plain late late show. It's about, it's about coffee. But okay. like they had like a, a really good following there. Like people were listening to them from around the area. And they did it for like two months, and then they take like a, a two month break. They took a two like two month break. They came back to it. Did it for another month, yeah. and that was said back in December. And and they've stopped again since. But I was just thinking, like, if they just consistently just kept putting out content, they'd actually have a seriously good following. Well, they did have a seriously good following, but they'd have an even better following now, you know. Mm-hmm. So oh, it's, it's all about consistency, hundred yeah. percent and a reliable upload like if you say you're going to have an episode up at eight o'clock every friday night it has to be there you know uh, and what's what's your plan like do you say that or do you just say oh so, i'll put one up whenever yeah because you're busy like you're, you're not going to be able to say oh yeah i'm going to dedicate 15 hours a week to doing this podcast exactly so, like at the end of the day you're not making any revenue or anything from it so that's it's, the thing, it's yeah. just an impact but like I kind of was messing around with the podcast last summer and I only did two or three episodes, maybe left it um, on the yeah. long finger again for ages, but had loads of ideas. And then January 2021 swung around. And I was like, right, let's try and be consistent yeah. with this. So I got about three or four episodes in the bank over Christmas um, and I've been releasing them um every fortnight yeah. like it would be totally unrealistic for me to say i'll have an episode every week even because i just wouldn't yeah. um so yeah every second week but i'm feeling the pressure now to be honest yeah, actually. because i used up what i had in the bank like so what's your next one going to be on so i'm not sure to be honest i've a lot of ideas but they need harnessing as well because they're subjects that need to be broached with caution <laughs> broached with caution you look, yeah, you know, I you suppose look. like the, the pressure you can't really. Yeah, you have to tread carefully, and if you're going for anything similar to that, you'll have to be fairly careful. Like, yeah. But yeah, it's interesting. No, I, I have you. You've never done a podcast over Zoom before, have you? No, no, I haven't. See, I never. I, consi- you know what? No, go on. go on. Sorry, Denise. Whatever you're going to say, I want to listen to. <laughs> I've been meaning to for ages. Yeah, but I. A, I don't think I have the guts to, and B, I'm afraid of bad quality, bad audio quality. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. How are you finding it? I think it's way better, actually, because, mm. like, the Zoom app, it does some of the editing almost for you. 
So say if, if it was just me and you in a room and we had two mics, okay? Mm. And every time I spoke, that was grand. And every time you were speaking, I was like breathing like a pug into the mic. So then I had to go back and I'd have to like edit my microphone out every time you start speaking. Whereas yeah, yeah. Zoom, it does all that automatically. Like it, it, it shuts off my mic as soon as the, the audio, or the, the most audio goes over to you. Like. So yeah. it, it's, I think it's, just, it's, it's way handier in that way. Yeah, that's fair actually, because that's what I was thinking really with in-person interviews. The audio quality would for sure be there, but you'd really have to plan the conversation you'd be about to have, and then you don't want yeah. it to sound unnatural. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's probably more natural in person, in fairness, that's the only thing. But also as well, like, it's no bother for me to say, hey, Denise, do you want to hop on there for half an hour, say, and we'll have a bit of a conversation, that's grand. Because it's probably only going to take around half an hour out of your day. Whereas I said, okay, Denise, you're down in Wexford there, or are you in Dublin now? Uh, Limerick. You're in Limerick. Okay, yeah. even worse. Uh, Denise, <laughs> you're down in Limerick there. It's, it's Tuesday night. Come up and the Carlo and let's do a podcast. It's going to only take you eight hours for a round trip. You know what I mean? Like that, it just it wouldn't appeal to someone. So I think yeah. it'd be easier to get, get guests over, over Zoom too, especially in the current climate. Like. Definitely. And I mean, if you have a big name, people don't care about audio quality. They want to listen to Luke O'Neill or whoever, Simon Harris, whoever it's going to be. Why, have you listened to Luke O'Neill? Yeah, he's like my idol. Oh, yeah, but yeah, but does he have like a, a real bad audio? Or no, not or at all. No, so like he, he does um, segments on Pat Kenny, with, or sorry, with Pat yeah, Kenny. Yeah, I've listened to him before, yeah. And I think, it's, I think he does it on a Monday and a Thursday. And one of the days he's in studio with Pat, so the audio quality is like insanely good. Yeah. And then the other day, he's talking to Pat Kenny over Zoom. But people are willing to listen to yeah, a slightly yeah. poor audio quality because it's Luke O'Neill. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy though. Like no one knew who Luke O'Neill was before this time last year. Yeah. And now everyone does for the most part. Like, like, I'm, like my, my sisters and mommy, they're the same as you. Like they love him. Like they bought that book. Never mind the bullshit. Here's the science. You were, you were promoting that on Instagram the other day, but yeah, um, yeah, everyone lo loves Luke when it's, it's funny. Yeah, he's a, he's become a national hero. Um, yeah, big name like Simon Harris. Yeah, I, yeah, I, Which, yeah. I suppose yeah. If you're yeah, if you're an interesting person, ultimately, as yes, people people are listening either way, they will. Yeah, like I mean. Politicians are super interesting to speak to as well. Yeah, I was I was thinking that as well. I was like, the, the nice thing about not, not having a niche, like a niche is great in the sense that you can give people, it gives a structure to your podcast and people know what you're going mm. to talk about. But the nice thing about not having one, I was thinking, is that it gives me more scope to like speak to different people. Like I can talk yeah. to, so just for example, I could be talking to Denise about the podcast today and then like, Leo Varadkar about um, I don't know his Indian heritage next week and that'd be grand because there's, it's just not a defined podcast you know yeah no definitely like I mean as soon as you define you know anything define your niche that's it you've put yeah. walls you've put walls there yeah exactly uh, yeah but hey, I wanted to ask this as well aside from like the audio and everything do you find that there's a best room to write your podcast in or do your podcast in um, not so much writing, um, kind of just go with that whenever you feel inspired. Yeah, yeah. Right in terms of the audio, it kind of depends on how sensitive your mic is. Um, I, to be honest, the mics you have there now, I'm not sure how sensitive they are, but the mic I have. Yeah, on, that's a good point. No, no, just say with that, that Yeti, what could be wrong with that is like, this is a pretty small room and there's really hard walls. So seemingly the sound bounces off that then and it'll go, it'll go back into the mic because that mic picks up everything. Whereas this okay. one, it's a bit softer. Like, so maybe this one might work better in this kind of room. Yeah, I think so, to be honest. Um, like I kind of do it, the place I do it is actually in the loft at home and there's kind of an alcove in the loft. Yeah. Um, 
but it's so sensitive like I can hear the wind blowing in the trees outside um, I can hear the car on the road I can hear the cow mooing in the field yeah so it's hard you know if it's raining you can't do it um, yeah realistically there there needs to be no one else in the house like you know yeah if, fair yeah where the dish off you're going or whatever it is um so it can be a little bit hard I would definitely say a small space is more conducive for recording yeah um, and the more furniture the better for sure the more furniture yeah for sure you don't want an echo that is the last thing you want yeah fair yeah 100 no i was like i was always thinking of things like like it sounds silly but the vibes in the room right um i think like they affect your mood and stuff so look i was thinking this room is perfect now this is this is a say, granny's house it's not not the house i'd normally be in but i think it's perfect for doing it because i got mona lisa on the wall right i got like big ass mirror over here and some like ooh, some art and stuff on this side of the room so i'm looking at the art so i really think it's conducive to uh to good vibes you know and to interest vibes fair that's interesting yeah. you just need yeah. some like um, led lights or something now Smell LED or... lights. yeah now, you, this is the content that i brought you on for <laughs> these kind of recommendations but um yeah because i was looking at Joe Rogan podcast, like I've always been a fan of Joe Rogan podcast, even though that's like, there's a bit of a stigma attached to that, but I have been. Um, and he, oh, like he normally has like a vibey, vibey sort of room. So he used to do it in his basement, he used to do it in his living room, but it was always like, there was always art there and there was like dim lights and stuff. And then recently he built a new studio and it's like, it's kind of colorless and really red. And mm. I just think it makes for a worse podcast. So I don't know. That's something that I I I always be thinking about. Like, are the are the vibes right? You know. Yeah, and I think doesn't Joe Rogan often drink like cognac and stuff with his with his he, guests? He always yeah. He'd be smoking that ganja and whatnot. Yeah, he he <laughs> he'd be getting a getting a vibe on, so to speak. But um, yeah. exactly. I don't know. That's maybe that's not as wouldn't be as great a thing for our science podcast. Maybe that's more. Well. Yeah, again it, it it really depends on what type of material you're delivering and what you're going for if you think yeah. you know having stuff in your room is going to make you feel at your best and you know make your voice sound at its best absolutely go for it yeah. and i mean you you have this um you're kind of recording your podcast as well aren't you and uploading yeah. the video denise i'm just gonna pause you for one second i have to I have to just submit the door okay work okay i'm back I was trying. I was trying to feature that actually. Are you muted? No, no, I shouldn't be. Can okay, you hear I, me? I can hear you all right. Yeah, no, I said mute because I did for some reason. No, um, there's a feature on this as well where you can pause the recording. So presumably, when I go when I go to download that, like there won't there won't be me answering the door. It'll just be a straight escape. But, yeah, there might be a bit of a lag, but I mean, I only that. you were only you or I would pick up on it. You know that kind of yeah, way. So. Yeah. It's fine. The editing is happening here, so you know, <laughs> I'm gonna upload this straight away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um yeah. And then you start promoting Instagram as well. Yeah, I'm kind of I honestly just need like a personal promoter or something. Um social media is a whole different realm. Um you could spend all day on it, you know, trying to promote and reach people and chat to people. Mm. But yeah. It's like a second job. It will consume all of your time if you let it. But really, yeah. I see you as well. Yeah, how's your page going? My page, my page, I got a bit of a head start. Yeah. Because yeah, I, well, like, like, I had a different page for just some this other business myself and your Brendan Byrne. We were doing okay. a little media company type thing. Anyway, we started giving up on that idea after I'd done all this promotion, and I got a lot of following on the media page. So then I was, I just said to myself, you know what? I'm just going to turn this into the podcast page. So I had yeah. a head start of 550 followers, you know, just Brilliant. to <laughs> give myself an edge. Brilliant. But I can, I can only imagine I won't get any more followers. Like that would just be what, you know, that'd be that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you want to promote everywhere. If you could, if you could get yourself on radio or something for on like radio, yeah, I mean, it could be anything. It could are you be plan- ringing up. Are you planning to go on radio? 
or t- our TV, yeah. some internet ads perhaps. I'm- no, not planning anything. I'm just, it would just be great exposure, you know, that kind of a way. Of course, yeah, yeah. And then, like, do you have a Twitter? You obviously, you obviously have the Instagram. What, what else do you have? I have LinkedIn, a Twitter perhaps. as well. No, no LinkedIn. Well, I have a personal LinkedIn, but yeah, not yeah, the, yeah. Um, yeah, like, at the end of the day, you don't want to feel like you're forcing it on people. You'd That's a fact, people. yeah. Yeah, you know, you'd rather people are just genuinely interested in listening. So, you know, if you only get 10 listens and those 10 people really enjoyed it and took something from it, you're better off. Probably, yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. But I'd say, as you said, if you could get a good guest on, like people are definitely tuning in. It's like people might say, oh, I might tune into the Nisa podcast and might not. But then just for talk's sake, say Simon Harris on the yeah. podcast, then probably be a thousand people like, oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to tune in now. And they might they might stay for more or they might not, but you know that that gives them gives them a bit of a taste anyway. Absolutely, because what's going to happen as soon as that goes up, Simon Harris is going to have that on his social media, and that's your exposure then. Yeah. So the more if you can get guests on your podcast with a following to promote, or if you can get on other people's podcasts to have a following, yeah, you know you're doing really well. Um, but you know it can be hard to find people in the same net as you that are yeah. willing to have guests or whatever um, yeah. but you know, it happens naturally as you connect with people and stuff yeah but also you didn't start promoting your podcast straight away did you you sort of left it you had a couple of episodes yeah. yeah yeah i did i don't really know why to be honest there was no real reason and um, i just knew i wasn't going to be consistent with the uploads last summer yeah so I waited until I was in a position to be a little bit more consistent. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Yeah. I was starting to think the same thing. I was like, I'm not going to promote it until I have like a bank of say four or five podcasts done because yeah. I don't know. I don't want to have a whole thing for like, say if I do three podcasts and then nothing, no follow up after, you know? Mm-hmm. Like it will happen because I mean you're busy doing other things in life. Yeah. And, you know, things come in, in peaks and, and ebbs or sorry, ebbs and ebbs and flows. Whatever. Yeah. Ebbs and flows, there you go. Is that the one? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'll edit it out. All right, we'll find the right phrase and we'll put it back in then after. That's the plan. <laughs> yeah. Edit it over. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I mean, have you have you done any have you got any podcasts in the bank at present? I have like fifteen podcasts. But oh, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, some of them are like it was me sitting down, with people like, okay, we're going to do a podcast now, and others are just like, oh, Don, you have the mic there, and I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and this, some would be like, oh, yeah, let's record an episode, and okay. those wouldn't be great. So, so like, say the oh. most recent one, it's it's a podcast. It's 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 eight hours of recording, but it's not an episode I could put anywhere. It was just me and one oh. lads, like we were, we were, we were, we were staying up watching something, and yeah, we just left, we, yeah, we left the mic run for eight hours basically. So I don't know. Okay, right, okay, that but, that could be a second podcast, like maybe, yeah. But that, that's what I like about this though; it's more structured, like yeah, exactly. When you, when mean, you sit down with someone and go on, you have to kind of pick a topic, kind of like you do, yeah, topic. for sure. So what you're saying, like, I, I need to pick a topic. Or, or you're saying for the Zoom, you have to pick a topic to talk about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you can't invite someone on without saying, okay, well, we'll discuss these couple of things, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah. But I mean, I feel like when you're, when you decide to be really consistent with it, so particularly if you're going to upload every week, you almost have to accept the fact that everything you do isn't going to be your best work yeah, or it's that. not going to be perfect. Because in order to stay consistent, you have to make sacrifices. You're there busy. Is. You do things. Yeah. You know. Quantity over quality, Denise. That's that's the message we're giving out here to all reflective podcasters. Just just put out content, and don't worry about how yeah. it sounds. That's that's the yeah. end. Yeah. Even that's, if it's eight hours, upload it. That's my motto, anyway. Yeah. But <laughs> what else is I going to say? Oh, yeah. What are you doing down in Limerick? You mentioned that earlier. Yeah, I'm actually doing medicine now, so. So did you do the GAMSAT then or what? We did indeed, yeah. That was back last year. 
Yep, last, it was supposed to be March, but it was pushed until June, so. So when did you start then, September? Studying, like? September. yeah, yeah. Fair, fair play, fair play. Yeah, and did you find the game so hard? Oh, so hard. Like, was it, that's, yeah? the worst, that's the worst, worst bit. If you can get over that, you're away with it. Not saying the course is easy or anything, it's obviously intense, but if you put the work in, you'll be fine, like. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Because Darvel and Phoebe were telling me they're doing the GAMP set now as well, but like you were obviously, yeah, you were you were thinking like that you were, you went and you did it last year as opposed to waiting, losing out in a year, say, and doing it now. Yeah, exactly. And like, to be honest, it would have been a fairly shit year to take a gap year. So oh, 100%. Yeah. And yeah. Do, what, do, why are you down in Limerick? Do you have to live in Limerick to do medicine? Or like, you have to be in the hospital and stuff, do you? Um, so not at present, you're kind of not on placement and stuff until third and fourth year, but okay. we have clinical skills sessions where you go in and learn how to do things like draw blood, whatever it is. Yeah. How many times a week? Twice a week at present. So. Okay. Yeah, I suppose Limerick is a bit of a journey, so I suppose you want to be down there, I suppose driving back and forth. Oh, 100% like, yeah. But, uh, what are you up to yourself at the minute? Oh, don't talk to me, Denise. I'm a bum. I'm doing nothing. <laughs> I've not, I've not going on in my life. Um, you started a podcast. You're doing more. Yeah, than look. Uh, I mean, I kind of started a podcast, yeah. But I have a mic at least. Um, <laughs> maybe maybe I'm, just, I'm just wasting people's time talking to them on Zoom. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just doing a bit of farm here at home, really. And okay. what else? I'm doing a bit of writing. Okay. So yeah, I'm writing for... I was writing like product reviews for Salford Group and their uh, machinery company from Canada. So I was oh, just writing really? about their, their tractors, not their tractors, but their, you know, fertilizer spreaders and sores and stuff like that. And then I was writing for a cycling website. And you know me, you know Brendan Byrne? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we wrote a play about 2020. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's we what we've been up to. <laughs> Right, so I, th I thought you'd I thought you'd ask me a couple of questions on that, Denise. But look, I'll take initiative. Um, so it's about twenty twenty. These teenagers find a time machine, and they okay. like they go back. This is like the very end twenty twenty uh, New Year's Eve, and then they go back all to twenty twenty. I'm not going to ruin it on you. Actually, I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to ruin it on you. Okay, that's that's basically what it is. And there's a you know there's a whole thing where they have to like stop the coronavirus and this and that and. It's comedy, like it's comedy play, comedic play. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So, is it was it written to be acted out or? It's written to be acted out on stage for a Singaporean okay. company. Stop. Yeah. So they're they're after paying us to write this play, this Singapore company, right? Be I don't know because I suppose they reckon our English is just a little bit better, and we'll be able to like. I suppose do a better job than someone local but yeah. I think our plan is we'll send it off to them like they'll act it out and we'll get a CD of it and then we'll send it on to them and we'll bring it to the Gaiety the Gaiety Theatre and we'll see if they'll also buy it off of us so that's that's our plan Denise okay. Would you act in it? Oh no way No 100% no way not. Well, it's, it's more of a teenager's play. Like. So there's, there's five kids in high school. We have, we've got the jock, the nerd, the geek, uh, the theatre kid, and then the cheerleader. So like myself and Brendan, we don't really fit down into those subcategories. So like we wouldn't, we wouldn't really suit the play, you know? Surely you're the jock and Brendan's the nerd, no? I mean, look, you, you said it, not me. <laughs> I'll say that to him next time, yeah. When we bring to the gate, I'll offer myself up as the jock. <laughs> to, to, to the baseball lead, jock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll send it on to you, actually, if you want. It is actually pretty interesting to read. I sent it to a couple of people. If, like, if you're not studying or whatever. For sure. Absolutely do. Yeah. Fair play to you, both. Aye, it's a bit of crack. Like, you, want, you want to be doing something, like, at the minute. So. Aye, yeah, 100%. So, it's, oh. look, it's nice to do something different and dip your toe in all the different ponds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but yeah, and is Limerick expensive? I'd say the, I'd say the student, the cost of like living and stuff is after going down a lot. 
with all yeah, the students look, at home. Yeah, yeah, it can be hard. Like, it's been so up and down, to be honest, because like when I got the offer, it was so late in August when we actually got the offer because we'd done the GAMSAT in June, which was late. Yeah. Um, and like we had less than two weeks to find somewhere to live. So, you know, we were kind of under pressure to get somewhere. Um, oh, really? That was you and who else? Um, just literally a mutual friend put me in contact with someone he knew. Okay, yeah. Down to well, so we live together. Um, so it worked out fine. It's cheaper than Dublin, like, but it's not as much crack as Dublin. But then again, like, I can't say that because I haven't experienced it because we haven't been able to. Yeah, um, yeah, fact. But yeah. Um, I just meant to ask you as well about the podcast provider you're going with. So have you yeah. chosen... Who are you uploading the episodes with? I think Podbean is who I was using. I haven't uploaded episodes in a while. But okay. you were you were saying someone else. You were you recommended a different provider to me. Who was that? Yeah. So I actually started off like just using the free provider Anchor, and then I left. Okay. Them. Why would you not just continue with Anchor? Um, it's just the the statistics weren't as good. Um, the interface wasn't as nice. Um, but does that matter like um like it depends um i just i just wanted a little bit more freedom with it to be honest okay yeah and um, you and you're paying the 11.99 you were saying yeah like there's all different plans you can go with so the the provider is called buzzsprout um, yeah all different plans. i think there's four different plans like i'm on the cheapest one i think and you still get loads of hours of content to upload yeah so it's perfect it's absolutely perfect like yeah, so eleven ninety nine a month. But yeah, you said it as the the stats and whatever and everything else make it worth it. But do you see like who listens to you on each um medium? Like say who's listening to you on podcast ad, who's listening to you on Spotify, etc. Yes, exactly. So you get like a complete breakdown. Like realistically, the two apps people gravitate toward using are Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Okay. So they make up the main bulk of your listens. And then you'll have an odd few maybe google podcasts uh pocket casts cast box deezer um, and i wouldn't i wouldn't really get anything other than that. but you upload them do you no so when you upload to buzzsprout, no, buzzsprout I, yeah send yeah, it out yeah 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 but do, you, do, how many um apps there do you have to send the podcast to um probably I can't even remember the full list that's on Buzzsprout, to be honest. Maybe probably 10, 10 or 15, is it? Yeah, maybe about 10. I think there's like 30 main ones when you account for all the different apps. But is Podcast Addict one of them? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay, yeah. Interesting, yeah. No, because that's, that's generally where I listen to my podcast, because uh, I have an Android. Right, but yeah, as, as you say, sure, everybody's on Spotify these days anyway. But yeah, yeah. that's what I said... I'd start uploading to YouTube for because okay. it's all it's like I find it easier to just log into YouTube and listen to something sometimes than to go on Spotify and search for a podcast and download a podcast you know what I mean yeah no for sure for sure um and like especially when you're doing it on zoom it's really nice to see people's faces and see oh it is engage. I couldn't have this conversation with you over the phone or like you know or like without any um, images whatsoever. Yeah, no, I agree with you entirely. But also, I need to get a better camera because my my one's pure blurry. I need to like get some HD camera up in here. You know, no, just, I think it just improved the the, the video quality. Yeah, the experience for can, people. Would you just buy a new laptop or would you just get a, a webcam? Oh God, no! Just, I'll get a twenty euro webcam. <laughs> I'm not going to buy a whole ass new laptop, Denise. Come on, what are we doing here? Well, you know, investment for the future, you'll get garage band, all that crack. Yeah, so just buy a MacBook because my camera's a little bit blurry. Perhaps, yeah, you could be, you could be on something there, yeah. But um, what, I, what I will do is, though, I'll buy one off Amazon because I bought the Yeti, as I was showing to you earlier, which is like a, a real like name brand microphone, and it's not as good as this one. So. Yeah. It's probably the yeah. same. Like I just, I just buy a good one off Amazon, and I get a lot cheaper than whatever the name brand uh, cameras are. Yeah, for sure. Like just look up a YouTube reviewer or something, and you get 
a decent one. Yeah. But anyway, any other pro tips for my for my little podcast venture, Denise? Seeing as you're the expert. Um, like, who have you interviewed so far, or what's in the pipeline? I haven't really. Like, just people I know. Like, the likes yeah. of people like, like yourselves. Like, might not necessarily be people I'm best friends with. Say, like, I wouldn't be speaking to you every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, say I'd be friendly enough with you that I'd speak in the podcast. But, I don't know. I, I sort of thought, like, what I'll do is I'll just get enough podcasts with people that I know personally to where it's legitimate and then I might just start sliding into Instagram DMs and yeah. you know like just like say see list slaves oh like oh do you want to come on here for 20 minutes or half an hour or so and talk Definitely. about this and that yeah. yeah yeah um and then I, mean, what? I, was, go on. I was even thinking about um do you know if you were to contact someone who you know maybe had an accident or yeah their life or maybe were um you know had struggled with alcoholism or you know drugs before like addiction yeah, yeah 100%. people are really inspiring personal stories you know they can tell yeah. really great stories um, and we have the medium to share that like so why shouldn't we exactly yeah and also as you say if people just live through something it doesn't matter if they're experienced with like media or or they have an interest in podcast or anything like that. As, lo- as long as they've lived through a story, it's, it's generally like really interesting to listen to them. Absolutely. Absolutely. But yeah. Anyway, we, we, awesome. we've done, we've done 35, perhaps 40 minutes, Denise. Fair play. Flies Fair by. Play. And you didn't even have to do the five hour round trip to drive up here. No, I didn't. That's there the magic go. of Zoom, yeah. Magic. But um, yeah, I'm going to shut off the recording here now anyway. So bye, everybody. Thanks for listening to our podcast. This is Denise, Life Science Podcast. And I'm Don, the No Knowledge Podcast. So catch us later.